yarning, the practice of speaking and listening from the heart. It has a number of other meanings, but the part that matters is, what does it mean to you? To me, it means... No, wait, wait, wait. We can't tell them that just yet. They have to watch the next five minutes to figure it out for themselves. Okay, okay. Let's start off with asking some students what they think the yarning circle is about. So, what do you think about the new yarning circle? I ain't got no idea what that is, sorry. Oh, I don't really know. Uh, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. So clearly we need to go back a few steps. It's 3 a.m. Yeah, that's my time. And we don't sleep because we like to fly. Where did the building process of the yawning circle start? Um, it started when Miss Watson came and saw me and proposed that we do an outdoor learning area yawning circle for the school. Um, I put in a budget proposal with designing that with Mr Paul and he approved it. So Miss Watson and Mr Emerson and I came up with the idea of implementing a yawning circle at the school. Uh, Mr Emerson helped with the design of it. We took it to Mr. Paul and then he um, agreed to, to go ahead with it. Mr. Emerson started ordering everything that we needed for it. In our Ab Studies class, when things started happening here, like the, the construction of it, um, during Ab Studies class, we'd come out and help with the gardening, moving rocks, and then yeah, it just went from there. I really felt that uh, this part of the school needed something in it um, that would attract uh, people to be able to, to come and talk and, uh, and converse in, in an informal and, uh, setting rather than having to be in the school itself. Uh, Miss Watson, Mr Emerson and Miss um, Blair um, were uh, simultaneously looking at, uh, at, at a cultural um, place to where Aboriginal people would feel um, comfortable. So the two just sort of merged together and I think uh, the results are a fantastic one. Design wise I was very very careful to make sure that the materials fit with place. Like I had people suggest I should use sandstone for this and so I've made sure that all the materials are appropriate for place. This used to be a bog hole from the whole time I was at school to it now actually serves as a transit way for people plus a destination in itself. So I made sure that the whole design fit in with the landscape and had the function that it needed. What have the students' reactions been so far of the circle? Uh, yeah, no, they love it, but we need to use it more. We need to start coming out here and using it because it's here. Whether it be an art class, um, out here drawing, a geography class, learning about geology, or whether it's a English class coming out here on a period five to do their quiet reading. It's a place for people to come and learn, to talk. If they need to talk about anything, confide. And it, it's like a healing place. It's somewhere where they can come and talk privately, use it to run programs. I'm hoping to use programs out here next year. But it's also a place we can go and sit and reflect. That's another purpose. It could also be that it's a place where you want to meet people from other places. And say, where will we meet? We'll meet in the Yarni Circle. Let's say if you're continually coming from other schools, Holy Trinity, Inverell High, Royal Oak Schools, all those sorts of things, surrounding districts, want to come here to meet. Where do you meet? The Yarni Circle. So it means a lot of different things to a lot of different people in the school, so it has lots of different functions. What's the reason you're not intending to call it a yarning circle? Um, I think we need to be really, really careful that we don't um, generalise Aboriginal culture and realise that Aboriginal culture is made up of hundreds of different groups and using a generic yarning circle for what this place is, because it's specific for our community, I don't think works. Making sure that we have a Gamilaroi word on Gamilaroi country for what this is. Uh, in a few short words, if you're trying to explain the yarning circle to students, what would it be? Um, a place to communicate. Well, I'd say to them, 
that the space is a space for learning. We'd like to see the classrooms come out and start using it when it gets a bit more developed. If there's um, students at the moment that are watching this video, because um, it could be a couple of days down the track, it could be a couple of years, it could be a couple of decades down the track, but if they're watching this video, and that's your only place, if it's still here at McIntyre, use it, utilise it, make it your own place as well as um, the schools. Share it with your friends, share it with your fellow students, share it with your teachers, to share it with family. It's a sharing place. Go and enjoy it. Make sure that you um, utilise it to the best ability. Go there by yourself, with friends, other students, everyone. Well, there you go. Now you have an understanding of what this place really means. This is the beginning of something special. Sorry.